live on the record. What's up, people? We're talking football, Central FC, live on deck. Fellas, Vietnam, India. These are, where, these are the places, these are the leagues we're trying to sell some of our top players to. I don't, I don't know. Vietnam ranked eighth in the east zone of the Asia Football Confederation. That ain't saying much to me. Why, why we can't, why, why, we, why we can't look at some of the, the European countries, like for instance, Hungary with uh, Akim Adams, um, Shalambato playing in Belgium. Wh why are we selling players to, to these countries? You all don't, you all have not sold anybody. No, we haven't. But I'm thinking that's just a matter of time. Yeah, definitely right. it'll be a matter of time where we, we get players out. And when, when, when we are, uh, when we sell our players, we want to sell our players to a league where they can develop r rapidly, you know, and it wouldn't be a slow process, right. you know, so that's our plan. We just want to consolidate for now, you know, and, and develop our young players, our young talent, and make sure when they go out there, they'll be going to proper leagues. Now, I don't know why these young men weren't successful with the transfers um, that they had in place there, but um, I had a question, really. Why are we sending our players to these leagues? I mean, how does Trinidad and Tobago football compare, in your opinion, to a, 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 a low-end um, Asia team? Well, I mean, I wouldn't be able to say because I've never been over there. Right. Um, however, I would, I, what, what I would say is for your, for your better players to get into the major leagues in Europe, most of them have a stipulation where uh, your ranking determines where your players go. Right. Especially but our ranking in, has in improved. Yeah. So we, we, we on the, we're in the ranking, we, we have sufficiently high rank that we can send our players to the top rank leagues but in Europe. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about maybe middle tier leagues in Europe. I mean, Europe is a big, the European community is big. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, one is, is having partnerships, you know, having good agents who, who, can, who can call around and, and, and get your players into, into certain clubs. You know, Stephen Hart came in and he's doing a tremendous job, you know, so once he, he continues and the players continue to follow his philosophy and, and go with his trend, um, I think that, you know, we continue to climb the ladder and uh, from there you would see, you know, our better players probably heading into places like Scotland and, and, and England and places like that once right. more. Maybe Portugal. Maybe Portugal. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, remember we have a good history with uh, I'm saying. With Portu yeah, with yeah. Portuguese. And, and I mean, Don Leo is supposed to come on board um, once the issue of the outstanding salaries to the coaches is cleared up. Don Leo has indicated he's really willing to come back on board in Trinidad and Tobago football. So um, I, I guess that would just really be a matter of time and That's some that. serious money. But, um, you know, I, I, I wonder if. If we're doing our players enough justice by sending them to these leagues. What I would say is last year, what, what Central FC did, you know, we bought over Warsaw from uh, the uh, lower leagues in England, you know, and they were interested in a few of our players, mm -hmm. but again, the work permit issue yeah, didn't, didn't afford that, in, in, yeah. you know. So, you know, as I said, you know, once we continue to climb that ladder, I, I definitely think we have players capable of playing in, in, in at least the championship and, and league one in England and, and in Scotland. Yeah, but how come we don't, you know, we don't hear about sending nobody to France, we don't hear about nothing else, we, don't, we hear, I mean, simple thing like MLS, how many players we have in MLS? Yeah, I think we have like three or four players you in know, MLS. You know, I mean, and that's right next door. I, yeah. I, I wonder, I mean, I, I, I think that there are some people who would be good for, to send to so uh, a school, yeah. right? They had some teenagers, but really and truly, if you're, you're a 19 year old, kicking around good football, you should be playing in a pro team. Yeah, definitely. Right? Because definitely. if you're in Europe or anywhere in, in the you real football world, you're playing in a pro team. Yeah. So I, I, I wonder, you know, but some people definitely need to get a better education. They're not at that level. They're not at the top ele level elite. But anyhow, you know what? We're talking too much about other things tomorrow night football. What to expect from you guys? One of the things I can say to you, and with all certainty, that you're looking at the winners here. I'm looking at the winners? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Just kidding, man. <laughs> All right, so anyhow, tell Mr. Sancho he owe my t-shirt from a guest, Wendy. Wendy win a, a t-shirt. I know she watching. She win a polo. Brent Sancho, you owe Wendy a t-shirt. Make sure you, you gave me a message. That would be the All right. Way. What's this next be. fellow name? Kevin? Kevin. Uh, Harrison. 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 Yeah. Kevin. Okay, Wendy is medium. 
Make sure you hook Wendy up with one of these wonderful t-shirts. I will make. Yeah. All this is a little too big, otherwise I'll tell you take it off and leave it there. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. don't go nowhere. We're we coming. Necessary, right? <laughs> We're coming right back with some Malabar FC. All right, don't go nowhere. You're live on the record. You're dreaming.